Neil, first of all, how pleased are you with how you guys have done? You must be so proud of, of your partner. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, uh, in, in some ways she kind of carried us through to the final, really, with her performance um, in, in the last match before the final. And, you know, so, and then that, that filled me full of confidence as well. And I, I played really well tonight um, because I knew that, you know, even if I were to make a mistake or something, that if she was given an opportunity, she'd be able to do really well. And, yeah, really, really proud of her. And, <laughs> yeah, just an amazing feeling, you know, to win. And Mink, how much did you embrace the opportunity to, to play with Neil in this event? Yeah, uh, Neil is a good player, player uh, he really will. And I pout when I see him play on the TV, on the final, when he champion, yeah. And you made a brilliant 74 break, you must have been very proud of that one. Yeah, I'm very excited when I play that shot, but I try to pot and make some uh, concentrate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and in the wider context, Neil, of this event, it's such an awesome thing for us. You've got a, a, a young daughter. For young girls, it's a it's a fabulous thing to showcase that what what these girls can do, isn't it? Yeah, it is, and and I'm sure there's you know um, there's there's dads and mums out there now who are probably thinking that. You know, maybe getting their their daughters involved in Q Sports isn't the worst thing in the world. So, um, but I think you know, we really needed something like this to to give them that exposure to like, you know, if you do put in the work, if you do become one of the best women in the world, then this is the kind of occasion that you could possibly play under. And when I was a kid, all I wanted to do was just play like a match on TV, you know, against one of my heroes like Ronnie or Hendry or something like that. And so now, hopefully, this will give you know female players the same kind of platform that. You know, it's not about making loads of money or this, it's about sort of just achieving your dreams and if, if some girl's dreams is to play a big match on TV then, you know, then that's fantastic. That was a great finish at the end, they were just absolutely flying in for you, weren't they? Yeah, I know, even, <laughs> even the un unintended pockets as well, yeah. <laughs> the yellow and the green, yeah, so no, it, was, it was a nice fun way to finish as well and um, yeah, I think it capped off you know, the, the last few days really well. I think the guys on our side have done a really good job on the, the branding and you've got your names on, on, on your shirts and all, all sorts, you know, it's, it's great to see you guys matching and it's, it, looks, it looks great. Yeah, I think the concepts have been really good with the clothes. Like, um, we weren't too sure how it was going to kind of turn out. You know, you never really know with, with, with tailors because sometimes you need like a few different sort of fittings to see and how it's going to work out. But all the clothes fit really well. And um, yeah, McCann, I think it was sponsors, right? And, you know, they've done a brilliant job. Um, and, and it's nice to kind of play in uh, some different kind of clothes as well. I think this is actually probably something I'd love to see, um, you know, when we're playing like the home nations or something like that, the, the events where we're not, you know, wearing a waistcoat and bow tie. I think, you know, a top like this, it, it's so comfortable to play in. Um, and yeah, I'd like to see sort of world snooker be open to changing that. And you guys met for the first time, didn't you? Yes, yesterday yes. before you met. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's unbelievable that now we're doing this interview and you guys have completely transformed that relationship. Or you know, you've turned things around. So um, yeah, you must be really proud of that. Yeah, it's amazing, and um, I mean, you were <laughs> last Friday. Last Friday, I, I did a, um, a charity event for um, a hospital that, that Paul Hunter was at, and um, you know, we had a great night there, didn't we? And then all of a sudden, like last minute, hey, what were you doing here? <laughs> and he, he's been with, with Mink the whole time as well, and um, yeah, it's just just fantastic. It's been, you know, we just had dinner before uh, before the final as well, which was really nice, and. Um, yeah, he, trying to like sort of ask if she wanted a dessert. I'm like, there's no desserts before finals. <laughs> no, wait till after. So yeah, no, it's, it's been fantastic. I, I couldn't have uh, hoped for anything better, really. And Mink, thirty thousand pounds—that's a lot of money for anyone, yeah. including <laughs> Neil. How, how much? You know, how, how are you going to spend it? Um, how would you like to spend it? Will, will you save it or or buy yes. something with it? <laughs> oh, I give some for family. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. There you go. Good answer. <laughs> well, well done, guys.